just like learning any other skill, pilots must begin with learning the fundamentals of flight before moving on to more advanced maneuvers and skills. The four fundamentals of flight are the building blocks necessary to develop the skills needed to be a great aviator. The four fundamentals of flight that must be developed first are straight and level flight, turns, climbs, and descents. This video will explain the third fundamental of flight, climbs. When a pilot puts an aircraft into a climb, their altitude will increase. Just like straight and level flight, sight pictures are used to determine if the aircraft is in a level climb. When a pilot begins a climb from straight and level flight, they must maintain neutral aileron input and smoothly pitch the aircraft's nose up by applying back elevator pressure. Now the pilot moves their focus to the outside of the aircraft to ensure they maintain a climb while flying straight. Looking through the windscreen while in a climb, the horizon will descend below the glare screen on the instrument panel. Since the aircraft's nose will be pointed up, it may be challenging to see an aiming point straight ahead out of the windscreen. Pilots can use a faraway object, such as a building, road, body of water, cloud, or other terrain as an aiming point that can be seen in the lower corner of the windshield. The object should remain in the same position in the corner of the windscreen when in a straight climb. The pilot allows the engine's RPMs to decrease before smoothly adding full power by pushing the throttle all the way forward to ensure they do not overspeed the engine. Due to the high power setting and increased nose up attitude, the aircraft will experience the effects of the four turning tendencies. This will cause the nose of the aircraft to turn left. To prevent this, the pilot smoothly applies right rudder pressure when advancing the throttle and raising the nose until the aircraft is pointing in the initial desired direction of the climb. Looking at each wing, the leading edge should be farther away from the horizon than the trailing edge but the left and right wing's leading edges should be the same distance from the horizon to maintain a straight flight path. If the horizon is not below the glare shield, the aircraft is not in a climb. Similarly, if the leading and trailing edges of the wings are parallel, or if the leading edge of the wing is closer to the horizon than the trailing edge, the plane is not in a climb. If conducting a level climb and one of the wingtips is closer to the horizon, the aircraft is in a turn in the direction of the lower wing. Pilots must correct their sight pictures back to the proper level climb sight pictures to ensure they continue to climb. After referencing the necessary sight pictures, the pilot scans their instruments to cross-check they are in a straight climb. Their airspeed and heading should remain constant. Their attitude indicator should show a climb, but no turn. Their inclinometer or slip skid indicator should show the aircraft is coordinated and their vertical speed should be positive. A common error students initially make is not applying enough right rudder or even too much right rudder during a climb. When looking at the slip skid indicator, if the ball on the instrument slides to the right, not enough right rudder is being applied. The pilot should apply more right rudder until the ball recenters. Oppositely, if the ball on the instrument slides to the left, too much right rudder is being applied. The pilot should decrease their right rudder input until the ball recenters. After the instrument scan is complete, the pilot begins scanning their sight pictures again. This process is continuous throughout the flight. It is important that pilots spend 90% of their flight time scanning outside of the aircraft for traffic, terrain, and weather, and 10% of the time inside the cockpit scanning instruments and doing other tasks. Pilots can also use the elevator trim to alleviate any excessive control wheel pressures during a climb. As the pilot approaches the desired altitude in a climb, they need to prepare to level off and enter straight and level flight. To do this, the pilot should reference their vertical speed, which is displayed on the vertical speed indicator instrument. This instrument displays climbs and descent rates in feet per minute. A rule of thumb for smooth transition from a climb to straight and level flight is to begin leveling off before the target altitude by 10% of the aircraft's current vertical speed. For example, if a pilot wanted to level off at 3,000 feet and sees their vertical speed indicator is displaying a 600 feet per minute climb, the pilot should begin leveling the aircraft 10% of 600 feet, which is 60 feet, before the target altitude of 3,000 feet, which is 2,940 feet. After the pilot has leveled the aircraft at their target altitude, they begin configuring the aircraft for straight and level flight. The throttle is left fully in, producing maximum power until the desired airspeed is reached. Then the power is reduced to the desired cruising power setting, around 2300 RPMs in Epic Cessna 172s. And the pilot uses sight pictures, instrument cross checks, and necessary elevator trim to maintain a straight and level flight attitude. 
As a pilot becomes familiar with straight climbs, they should start adding turns to their climbs. Turning climbs will incorporate both the sight pictures and instrument cross checks of climbs and turns, as well as the rollout and level off techniques. When making a right climbing turn, the pilot will need to apply a large amount of right rudder pressure to overcome the turning tendencies, as well as to remain coordinated throughout the right climbing turn. When turning to the left, right rudder pressure will still be applied, but much less will be needed to overcome the turning tendencies, and to remain coordinated throughout the right turn. For more information on the second fundamental of flight, turns, please view the turns video in this series. Student pilots should practice entering climbs, maintaining straight and turning climbs at different air speeds and vertical speeds, as well as leveling off at desired altitudes from climbs until this skill becomes natural. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.